Or what have you got on your desk, mate? Ding. Ding. It doesn't look that impressive. It looks like some sort of 1980s breathalyzer. It does look like a, an old camera or some sort yeah. of equipment. What is, is a groundbreaking, state-of-the-art slow motion camera, mm. which we will discuss later. But you don't really want to just listen and look at mine and Ren's faces during all of this. So we have taken some random shots and some bits and bobs, which I'm going to just drop over the Try and sort of intersperse a little bit. Yeah. So you're going to tell me a bit about that, that funky box of plastic shortly. I will do. Um, but you have another topic of conversation. I do. Uh, and it's about a motor vehicle, or brand, if you like. Yes. But not a gas guzzler. No. Down with combustion, up with volts. <laughs> it's Friday afternoon. It it's is. been another, um, another week in paradise. And we're going to have a bit of a rant. Ah, it's a discussion. It's discussion. More than anything. discussion. Uh, I'm going to ask you a wee question yeah. about... Um, Car purchasing, okay. more than anything. So, we were thinking about YouTube channel, and yeah. uh, patrons will know already. Uh, if you joined as a patron, you'll know about this. That we had planned to buy a Tesla Model S. We did. Uh, you get them in rear and four wheel drive. Yes. And uh, you're interested in rear wheel drive, rear -wheel drive obviously. Um, so we were thinking of getting one, weren't we? We were get. We we considered it quite hard. Yeah. A lot. We went to Tesla quite a few times yep. to test drive, and we decided that potentially getting a P85 Plus cool. from Tesla was yeah. the way we were going to be the trailblazers of e drift. Yeah, because there's not very much on YouTube about Tesla's drift. Yeah, there's literally like that one little clip which I'm going to show you now of yep. some guys in Japan doing the. Uh, yeah, and like it's Saito, isn't it? He's quite good. I think it's Saito. Yeah, he knows what he's doing, and you can see these things, they've got plenty of power, and you don't know, like, does it look like it's got a, like, a lock differential or yeah, something? Well, I, did, I did quite a lot of research uh -huh. into it, and they have, what well, turns out they have an ELSD, which I think a lot, uh, some of the newer Porsches also right. have. So basically, rather than having a slipper, it's got an open diff, and the open diff, the car will apply brakes to the wheel that has the least traction, mm -hmm. transferring yeah. torque to their wheel, which sense. then makes it act. So yeah. it looked in that video like... It was doing tight donuts. You can't do tight donuts with a fully open deck. No, you can so, see that it's definitely spinning both wheels, and it's make, it's not just spinning that inside wheel. It's making a decent amount of smoke there. It looks yeah. like both wheels are working. It looks like that could be possible. So yeah, it looked like it would be possible. We went to Alt Sport, where we seen a few Teslas on the way down. Yep. We chatted about them in one of the videos, and we went to speak to the guys at Quaithers. Oh, do you know what I'll do? I'll stop you there. Oh, Before yeah. we went to Autosport, yeah. we wanted to make sure we weren't just wasting uh, Tesla's time, didn't we? Yes. So you've got, so they have a, a finance procedure you've got to go through and get approval for that. That's correct. So we did that, didn't we? I did go through the finance yeah. procedure. Because all good? It was all good. Yeah. We got uh, approved for a brand new Tesla Model S. Yeah. Um, and that was great. So yeah. we're like, the option is there. Yeah. And if we, we did would like it. Yeah, it's the, there. The option is there. So we went to Autosport we with that knowledge that it was a real possibility. Yes. Spoke to the diff guys there at Quaif. Yeah. And they sort of said, oh, Quaif's not for you. Yeah, we do. The Quaif do make an LSD, which was a bonus, which meant that physically you can remove the diff. Yep. There is a, another YouTube video of some guys in America cool. who are the, the only actual resellers of this LSD for the Tesla. Mm. Um, and they were swapping them out. So it's, it just looks like a normal diff house, yeah. a diff case uh, uh, sort of main bit. So yeah, so basically we did. So we drove six hours back up the yeah. road, deliberating yeah. whether we should gamble, basically fifty grand. Yeah, on, on whether this is going to work based it would on even work or not. That fifty something seconds of YouTube video that we yes. just showed you. And after many hours of deliberation and many pros and cons went through, we decided that we would be. The trailblazers, yeah, and that we would buy the first Tesla for drift purpose, yeah. And we were super excited, yeah, definitely. Was, oh, you weren't you were that excited because you don't really get excited. No, nah, I'm kind of allergic to excitement, I but I could see. Do you know what? It made it made me feel nice that you were happy. It, well, I was wired to the moon. You were. I've been semi obsessed with Teslas yeah. for a year or so now. Yeah, I've done about like four hours listening a day for the past six months previous to yeah. various different Tesla based stunts we could do and yeah. passenger imagine getting a passenger lap 
in a Tesla going around the track and like utter silence, smoke everywhere, no. super G forces. Um, Basically, our whole year's business plan yeah, revolved yeah, around yeah, the four Tesla. up Tesla, uh, passenger Tesla skids. Tips. The only place you can get that done, pretty much, in the world. Yeah, it sounds good even talking about it now. To be honest, it would have been awesome. Yeah, why are we not doing it though? Well, it's a long <laughs> and complicated story, but it starts off with me. Oh, sorry, no. Let's go back mm. to yeah. So you decided we're going just to before trailblade. Christmas, right? Just before Christmas, Mister Jean Luc, the uh, yes. sales manager yeah. at Tesla Edinburgh, dropped me, and I'm sure pretty much everybody else on Tesla's mail mm -hmm. list, an email saying, "Hey guys, it's almost 2018. You could still own a brand new Tesla yeah. this year." Yeah. And at this point, I'm like, no, 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 right, I'm going to ask. So I got in touch with uh, the guys at Tesla. Mm -hmm. Good. And. Were they quick in their response not, after that email? Not particularly. You know, like way. someone who's going to sell you a 50 grand so, car. Yeah, when I expressed interest of potentially wanting to take them up on this offer and get one before the tail, uh, yeah. the tail end of the year, they replied on the 3rd of January. <laughs> After well, lots of chasing, well, that doesn't set a very good precedent. It wasn't it? the best start, I'll be honest. Mm. So, anyway, I ignored the shortcomings in their customer service, and myself and you, mm -hmm. we went through to test drive a white P85. Yeah, we once. had to force ourselves, to, you know, like them, the business, didn't we? we it felt like sort of, that. Yeah. yeah, it felt like, like they were begrudging I've, of taking my money. Yeah, and I think they felt that somehow we were inconveniencing them a little with some of our questions. We made they were asking about how the diffs work. Yeah, they? but... I don't know. Yeah, but we told them we were going there. Yeah, they knew what... To ask the technical questions. Yes. And that they would have someone there to answer those questions when we got there. Yeah, that's the thing. There was no point where this was a surprise to Tesla. I was up front for the work on them doing the from day one. Look, guys, sell me the cheapest Tesla you've got. Yeah. They'll do the trick. And they'll buy it. So, but anyway... P85 Plus was the one was yep. coming out as the winner. So they, they had one down in Heathrow, mm -hmm. and they also had one that just come back in off fleet, which we yep. were allowed to go have a test yep. drive off. So we went and had a little 10 minute drive around in yep. the rain with the traction control on. Firmly on. He would not let me switch <laughs> off, even though Ren was threatening to hold his arms <laughs> on it. So um, he wouldn't let us switch it off. But the thing was quite squirmy in the wet. Yep. Uh, you could feel it handling like a non open diff car. It was doing something that wasn't. Normal, yeah, it wasn't just lighting up like an open diff would, yeah, it wasn't just ripping the tires off it. So, we did that, and then uh, we once and for all decided let's go for it. Yep, and I got in touch with a man called Ashley Graham. So a man called Ashley, a man called Ashley Graham. Graham. So how many first names? Two is first names, right. which is just bad for everybody. Never mm -hmm. trust a man with two first names. Mm -hmm. Uh, he was based down south and he was the used Tesla. Right. Um, so for those of you that don't know, you buy used Teslas, they're basically, they come out as a fact, they come back to you as almost a new car, they reset all the warranties, they fix all the paint, they fix absolutely right, everything. Okay. It comes out as basically a new car. So it takes three or four weeks, which okay. I was a bit miffed about that the car was already in Edinburgh and how could it take yeah. a month to clean it and give it a brake check. But that's just how these big companies work. So. Yeah, they don't. It's not really a car anymore. It's more like a consumer product that gets yeah, like an iPad. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's like an iPad. Yeah, though. four weeks. Four weeks. Yeah, genuinely, four weeks. Four weeks was how long. But that, that's just how these things take. Right, so, okay. uh, I agreed. Okay. That we were going to pull the trigger on it. That white one that we went that, to that see. That white one that, that was we'd in driven. Edinburgh. It was in Edinburgh. It was a P85 plus. Finance. We'd already got that approved. A while Finance ago. was all approved. Everything was good to go. Car was there. Phoned Ashley up. Ashley, my best man. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. He took my car details off me there yeah. and then took the deposit. M amazing. Happy days. <laughs> First ever drift Tesla. Yeah. On its way to drift life. Amazing. It was and a good day. Great. It was a good day. And a couple of days later, yeah. Ashley, after ignoring God knows how many emails from me because he just doesn't reply to emails, <laughs> um, he. Gave me a call to say that Black Horse, who are the finance company, had changed their mind, for want of a better word, yeah. about the finance, and that they had done a, obviously done a little search on myself. And As you would. Were somehow surprised to find out that even though we'd already went through the finance application, that somehow I was the owner of Driftland UK. 
Oh, who'd have thought? Yeah, even though we applied for the credit in Driftland UK. Right. Name. So and every time you go there, you're wearing a Driftland hoodie. Yeah. And they, all my meals from number, Driftland. Yeah, your number one thing you do to explain is that you want to use it for drifting at yes. Driftland. Yes. So. So, long story short, after lots of coming and going and yeah. waiting for not getting a reply. Getting yeah, because they got back to you replies, pretty quickly, didn't they? No. No. <laughs> no, they promised to phone me back and promised to give me updates. And they never, not once, to be honest. So I had to chase, 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 chase eventually came back that due to some idiot crashing a Tesla into some pedestrian and causing quite a serious accident that Black Horse would no longer ha no longer finance anyone who was in the per performance motorsport arena. Oh, okay. Which unfortunately for me that very I'm much encompasses firmly in <laughs> basically <laughs> don't think I can get much more firmly in that. Yeah, you category. almost are an arena, I would say. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So. Mm. And that was something they moved the goalposts between the first absolutely, time and absolutely. the second time. The thing is, we'd already been pre approved for 90 grand of credit yeah. on a brand spanking new one, but the, the new ones, you can't switch off traction control. It just, it doesn't yeah. come off. So, no good to me. You need no I had to get need a rear wheel drive one. one. You can't even hire one, can you? Nobody hires out rear wheel drive <laughs> Teslas, so I couldn't go hire one to find out if this was an answer. So I was yeah. willing to gamble 50 grand of Driftland's yeah. money. Yep. Yeah on the YouTube subs and the fun and the business propositions yeah, that that absolute would, uniqueness of it would have created. Yeah. So mm. yeah, that is basically the reason that we don't have a Tesla right now. Yeah. Got your deposit back quickly though. No. No. No, no, no. no. Ashley passed me on to his boss, Stefan no. Schlecker or Shecker or some sort of higher up. Mm -hmm. middle management guy who ignored four emails over the space of a nice. week um, and then basically he just sent me an email saying yeah you should have your deposit back and that was the end of that no uh, no anything I asked for the complaints procedure from Ashley god knows how many times yeah. and Ashley's response was what was your complaint about? Oh. <laughs> Not to mention the massive breach of data protection that happened when oh. my good friend John Fallon texted me All right. to ask me how I'd managed to buy a Tesla oh. when this was a secret only known by myself, you, yeah. and the guys who the guys that Tesla. took your credit card details. Yeah, those right. guys. Those guys. So yeah, a friend of mine who lives in Edinburgh randomly managed to find out and text the Driftland phone, which yeah. is held by other members of staff yeah. here, and. Uh, so yes, that uh, firmly blew the cat out of the bag. That's, yeah, that's so a massive a date protection any, issue. Yeah, surely. it wasn't a secret anymore. Quite annoyed about it. Uh -huh. And I haven't quite got around to sending these guys... Uh, have you got the complaints procedure though? I haven't got any complaints procedure. No. But I do have more email addresses. Right. And I think the thing that I'm most annoyed about is that this Stefan Schlecker, Shecker, whatever his name is, guy, was his excuse for not replying for almost two weeks was he was off on holiday. Oh. Fair enough. We all have to go on holiday, yep. especially if you work at Tesla and are in doing terrible, terrible customer service day Yeah, day but in this day and age... Break. There was two other people copied in on that email. <laughs> Both Ashley and Jean-Luc, the sales manager from Edinburgh. So yep. the main guy who wants me to buy a Tesla has been copied in on every single email the whole way through. Nothing. Zero. Nothing. Did not get involved, did not chase anybody up. Did not try. So basically, if you're trying to buy a Tesla, if there's a dealership in Glasgow or yeah. anywhere else, anywhere, I'd go there because the customer service, both in Edinburgh and down south at their used lot, is shit. Abysmal. Really, really, really bad. So treated like subhuman scum by sales. Whilst I'm trying to buy a 50 grand car, yeah, I've literally bought a car off a smackhead for 200 quid and got better customer service yeah. because at least he answers his phone. <laughs> Like, how hard is it in this day and age to answer an email? Even just to say, I don't know the answer yet, but I'll get back to you later. Yeah. But then he would send that, and then uh, three weeks later, and then still not reply with the answer. <laughs> so basically, yeah, fuck Tesla. Yeah. It's... The dream is over for a considerable amount of time. We will no doubt be beaten to the punch by mm -hmm. somebody creating the first Tesla drift car. Um, as a positive, 
There's a positive. There is a positive. Yeah. When I received my deposit back finally, uh-huh. uh, I treated myself. Oh, ourselves. Yeah. I treated yeah, ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you have me personally on Facebook, then add Jeek Federico do on Facebook, do everyone. Do That's Jeek Federico. Editing that fuck out. <laughs> do not add me. Add Renny. He loves people. Experiment so anyways, boy. Experiment boy. Add experiment. Subscribe to Experiment boy. So this is a Kronos one point four. Mm consumer camera this allows it looks us. like I made it it does look like you made it it was made by somebody like you right. in their garage uh, his YouTube channel is Tesla 500 you should definitely look Tesla 500 Tesla 500 is I know is that to do with the car it's not it's Can not it's just coincidence right but he you makes get a free this. one of them you if don't you buy get, a Tesla you don't get a free one but if you try to buy a Tesla and then don't manage it with the deposit back you can buy one of these wow so this is a Kronos 1.4 it allows us to shoot uh, HD at 1,500 frames a second and right down to 30,500 wow, frames a that's second. That's pretty impressive. There is just one small catch though, you have to be on the sun. You do need pretty much as much light as the sun produces yeah. about this far away from you. But that's at really high frame rates. Yeah, but that's where all the good guys hang out. That's right? where all the really cool footage hangs out. But uh, I'm probably going to litter this... Um, this chat so you don't have to just cool. look at mine and Ren's faces, just I really long, good idea. slow motion burnouts. Um, what, um, like, what sort of stuff do you want to do with that camera? Well, you know, what's it, like, I can see you wanting to go, hey Ren, let's do it. I can see you're busy, stop that, let's do... What let's do go crash the red barn into the wall, Okay. while we're cool. on it, with some super cool slow motion. Yep. Let's fill balloons with anything you can imagine yeah. and crash cars crash into, into them. them. Use Let's them as clipping points. Fill everything with everything. Make fire. If uh, I'll put a little clip in just now of yeah. my face catching Yeah, fire. how much more hair have you actually yeah. got to do uh, that? My eyebrow and most of the side of my face lost most of its hair in a I was going to say a freak accident, but I was spraying it's a deliberate deodorant on fire yeah, it's in, a at a balloon that was full of lighter fluid. So <laughs> <laughs> With your four-year-old son. With my four-year-old son watching. He was watching. He was learning that that is a bad idea. He thought it was funny. He thought it was amazing. Yeah, he's he going to do that. Amazing. So, experiment boy on YouTube if you want to see the non-drift slow motion stuff yeah. that I'm capturing. I'm basically learning how to use this thing at the moment. Um, and monetizing your four-year-old son. And potentially monetizing my four-year-old son in the future. Yeah. And I am... Uh, we're close to being ready to make our first drift footage with the slow motion yeah, camera. Yeah, that, that could be good. Got the uh, got the stuff, but if you you see the the you know it's not like a DSLR where you just point and click and it auto focuses, auto zooms, auto does all the things. This mm. is manual aperture, manual focus, manual diff, everything. Oh, it's quite boring, Jake. Sorry. It's outrageously <laughs> boring. Um, I am learning it as fast as I can good. in order to uh, be able to create some cool footage. So. Yeah, basically that is why we don't and probably won't hmm. have a drift Tesla anytime soon, unless it is not for the want of trying though. By some, I have tried so hard. Yeah, uh, it even soured the watching of that SpaceX rocket launch the other day because mm -hmm. I just knew that deep down it was Tesla behind it, and that if somebody was trying to buy one of those rockets for five hundred million pounds, the cunt still wouldn't send back an email. No. So. No. That soured it a little bit for me, but I just can't hate Elon Musk. He's just fucking ridiculously amazing. Yeah, he's trailblazing. He's, he, is, he is the thing that you need to want to be. I wanted to be trailblazing on his coattails, yeah. and the pricks at Black Horse and Tesla have yeah. decided that I'm too much of a risk, even though I'm exactly the same amount of yeah. risk as I was before. Yeah. But here you're, you're up to son. Yeah, and you want I to, told you what I was up to. And you want to risk half as much money, but yeah. there's somebody with the silly tweed blazer has now told you you can't have it. Yeah. Even though you could have had two before. You could actually have had two before. Yeah, I could have got two second hand ones. Yep. And now they won't give me one. No. I don't understand how. And you can. And you can like, what am I going to do? What exactly what am I going to do that's going to make the finance bounce? What am I, like, I'm still going to pay the finance. I'm yeah, it doesn't matter if you're, being, if you're being sued for gross misconduct and, uh, and grievous bodily harm, manslaughter, that kind of thing. Yeah, the tick still is in place. <laughs> the tick still is in place. Or you can come and get the car, it doesn't matter, lads. I just, the car will be insured. <sighs> it was such a 
such a high and then followed by such a low because mm. I've genuinely been looking forward to getting this thing. You had been for I, a long time. At this, I would admit I wasn't that fast either way, but you could see the potential. Yeah. Have you seen that that drift Tesla, the drag Tesla? Sorry. That thing's those, a those guys views. are amazing. So if you remember, we saw we went to LA and we went to Arundel uh, Circuit. They had an eighth mile drag strip on, and we watched a couple of Teslas, P one hundreds, Ds. I think the four wheel drive ones do uh, like that eighth of a mile in like seven and a bit seconds. Yeah. They were wild, outrageous. So an absolute silence. It was the best. Yeah, one of my favourite videos but from that. The, the, there's a guy on YouTube who has a dra drag Tesla, and his numbers just went whoosh, straight up. Drift Teslas mate. And we would have had the same for Don't drift. tell anyone about it, maybe we can still do it. Somebody's going to beat us. Probably told someone now. Yeah, we've told everybody. <sighs> but anyway, I think that's about enough of a... Gutting. Enough of a rant from us. That's that's more than enough. It was quite long. Yeah, you cut that down to about three minutes, hopefully. Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> Could have leave it in its entirety. <laughs>